Good morning, everybody. First and foremost, uh, we give thanks to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We give thanks to our Heavenly Father, Almighty God. We give thanks to the Holy Ghost for revealing all things to us. I come to you because yesterday um, was my first time ever having a, a vision from God while being awake. Um, I usually have them when I'm asleep. But this was the first time that um, he gave it to me while I was awake. I was just sitting meditating on his word. And um, a vision came to me where um, it looked like the background was like the sun was setting. So it was like a little orangey, a little dark, you know, like that kind. And there was a rock. Um as if like a pebble but it was a rock and it was and from the left I can see like a dark shadow like a big huge dark shadow just coming to cover everything this the sunset and the rock and it just covered it all until it became black and then I was just like wow hold on then I saw it again where it, the rock, I can see the rock, or I, like like say Pac-Man, uh, when Pac-Man eats the pebbles or whatever, he comes and he just devours everything. Like he comes and devours everything, leaves nothing. So the whole vision became black. And I was like, Lord, what does this mean, Lord? And uh, for I nodded off, I said, Father, I'm listening. You can tell me anything that you want me to know. So I took an hour nap and I woke up and in my spirit, in my spirit, I seen a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge of what I'm showing you right now. And I heard the word the Brooklyn Bridge or Brooklyn will be like a football. It's, he said Brooklyn will be like a football. Brooklyn Bridge will be like a football. I said, what does that mean, Lord? I don't. Brooklyn, as a football, I don't, I don't understand. Please help me clarify it. Please show me. Please reveal. And um, he definitely revealed it to me. And what he was saying is that New York City will be that will be invaded. It will be invaded, like as the beginning of a football game. As I'm as I'm getting ready to show you. But this was my vision of the Brooklyn Bridge that I saw when I woke up in the spirit. I'm getting ready to show you. He said like a football. And um, as you can see, you have this side, this team, and you have this team. But then you have everybody, everybody around watching. These are the, these are the lukewarms. These are the people who are on the fence. These are the people who are lost. These are the people who do not have the Holy Spirit in them. These are the Christians, the ones that are standing tall. And these, the enemies that will invade New York City, will be the Muslims, will be Islam, will be ISIS. They are coming to invade, to set up their one world religion that whoever does not believe in Islam or quote unquote Allah the great deceiver which is only Satan <laughs> you will be killed that's why in the Bible we said those those will be persecute, persecuted for my name's sake but those that shall endure to the end shall be saved so he said as a as a football so I, I put two and two together Thank to, thanks to the Holy Ghost. Let's watch. As the beginning, the, they kick off the football. Who never, who, whoever's viewing this that have never seen a football game, they kick it off to the other team. And the other team would try to score. But the invasion, watch how the invasion would come like the dark cloud. It was a dark cloud. It wasn't a light cloud. It was a dark cloud that overtook the entire scenery that I saw in my vision. And covered even the stone. 
till it was completely black. It was completely black. Dark. Evil. Those who have ears, let them hear. Let's look. This is how the invasion of New York City will be. We are the Christians. We are the only ones that will be, the real Christians will only, will stand up, but they will get persecuted. These, these are the people who they are going after. They're not going after these people in the stands. Because they, they will have no choice. They don't have no, these people in the stands have no root inside them. They have, they don't know the Holy Ghost. They knew the Holy Ghost, they would be on a field with us, standing tall. So they did, they, these, they're not worried about them. They're only worrying about us. Look how they, look how they're coming like beasts. Look, coming. They want to take out Christianity. Because we are the true worshipers of God. We honor him. In spirit and in truth. And um, I said, oh my goodness, Lord, thank you for that revelation. And after that, he took me to the Brooklyn Bridge. I remember I talked about this prior in one of my videos. About the white flags. Let's just, let's just listen. To the major breach on the Brooklyn Bridge that's raising questions about security on the span. Somebody climbed raising questions about security to the top of the bridge towers and replaced the American. Don? Well, Dana, detectives believe two groups of people swapped out those flags overnight from Chopper 2. You can see new American flags are now atop of the bridge. Among other things right now, investigators are going through social media to see if anyone's claiming responsibility for the stunt at what's supposed to be one of the city's most secure structures. Most secure structures. Chopper 2 hovered high above as whitewashed American flags flew on top of the Brooklyn Bridge. The site quickly turned heads Tuesday morning. Some kind of peace or surrender movement, right? Hmm. Some kind of peace or surrender movement. They're, they're coming to invade New York. You say, why New York? New York is the home. New York is the, the mecca. New York is the Big Apple. Hence, Big Apple. With the one world trace in it is now built. There's no more two. There's no more twin towers. It's one now. And they'll come to once they take over New York, everybody else will fall in line. And God showed me that that those white flags, these white flags are surrender. They will surrender. New York City will surrender to the nation of Islam, to the Muslim nation. Let me show you something else. Our president has appointed Muslims to the homeland security. He appointed Muslims to the homeland security. In 2009, one was a senior Justice Department aide during the Bush administration. Another is a former head of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee and was appointed as civil rights advisor. Now to 2014, we have six Barack Obama's Muslim appointees in high security positions in high security positions six of them that are in office right now six American Islamist activists who work with the Obama administration on Muslim Brotherhood operates who enjoy strong influence over US policy hmm. I thank God for my vision I didn't understand it at first but he definitely clarifies and confirms if you just ask him. He wants you to ask him. He wants to teach you. Don't try to figure it out on your own. He wants to teach you. But let me tell you how we will not be defeated. <laughs> Praise God. <clears throat> in Matthew 21, 42, it says, Jesus says unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone, the stone which the builders rejected? The stone that I seen in my vision, which darkness overtook it, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whosoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. 
Thank you, Jesus. So at the end, we still win. But our Lord and Savior is, is allowing this to happen. You say, why, why is he allowing this to happen? Because of these, because of these people. These lukewarm people that are on the fence, that haven't chosen God, that hasn't repent, that haven't turned from their wicked ways, that haven't seeked God with all that they have, that hasn't turned from their family, that hasn't hated their mother, their father, themselves, that haven't denied themselves each and every day. This is why. Because the harvest is soon to come. But I thank you guys. And that was my vision. That's all I have to share. It will come. It will come. New York City will be invaded. By a foreign nation. And they will put the flag of Islam up. <laughs> and whoever don't abide. To it. Will be persecuted. For his name's sake. Hallelujah. But be joyous in persecution. <laughs> For the kingdom of heaven is at hand.